Hello, kids. It's Teacher Bia here, and today I will narrate a story about the three little pigs. So sit down, make yourself comfortable, and let's go. There once was a mother pig who had three little pigs, and they were very poor. One day, the mother pig sent the three little pigs out into the big, wide world to seek their fortunes. The first little pig met a man carrying a big bundle of straw. Please, may I have the big bundle of straw to build myself a house? Asked the pig. The man was tired of carrying the burden of straw, so he gladly gave to the first little pig. The first little pig built a house out of straw, and he lived there very happily. But along came a big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Shout out the wolf. No, no, not by the hair of my teeny ting ting. I will not let you in. Squeaked the first little pig. Then I will huff and huff and I will blow your house down. Well, the wolf, and he did. He huffed, he puffed, he blew the straw house down. The first little pig ran away as fast as his trotters would carry him. Now, the second little pig met a man carrying a big bundle of sticks. Please, may I have the bundle of sticks to build myself a house? Asked the pig. The man was tired of carrying the bundle of sticks, so he gladly gave to the second little pig. The second little pig built a house out of sticks, and he lived there very happily. But along the bee bad wolf, little pig, little pig, let me come in, shut out the wolf. No, 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 by the hair of my teeny ting ting, I will not let you in, he squeezed the second little pig. Then I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your house down. Well, it the wolf. And so he did. He huffed it. He puffed and he blew the sticky house down. The second little pig ran away as fast his trotters would carry him. Now the third little pig met a man carrying a half load of bricks. Please, may I have the load of bricks to build myself a house? Asked the pig. The man was very tired of carrying the heavy loads of brick, so he gladly gave to the third little pig. The third little pig built a house off out of bricks, and he lived there very happily. But along came the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let come in. Shut out the wolf. No, no, no. By the head of my chinny ting ting, I will not let you in. Squeaked the third little pig. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. Well, it the wolf. And he tried. He tried. He huffed. He puffed, but he couldn't blow the pig's brick house down. Little pig, 
little pig are coming down your chimney right now to get you. Below with the pig that won't. Please yourself, called the third little pig, who was now busy with some important preparations. Little pig, little pig, I have my front paws down your chimney. Treated the big bell wolf. Please yourself, called the little pig who was still busy. Little pig, little pig, I have my bush tail down your chimney. Call it the wolf. Please yourself, call it the third little pig, who was now sitting in his comfortable rocking chair by the fireplace. Little pig, little pig, here I come, say wolf with a huge splash. The big bell wolf fell around into the bubbling pot of boiling water that clever little pig had placed at the pot of the fire, right under the chimney. The wolf splashed, splashed, and scrambled out of the big pot. He ran as fast as he could out of the front door and was never, ever seen again. The three little pigs went to look for his two brothers and found them safe and sound. So three little pigs went and fetched the mother and now they are all live happily together in the brick house. And it is the end. Thank you so much for hearing our story today. Love you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.